This video has been produced to help to understand how we connect the Ethos 8600 EV adapter to an electric vehicle charge point. I will then show you how to perform the safety checks that are required before you connect your test equipment to the EV adapter. Before we proceed, there is another video available which goes into more detail of the functions and features of the EV adapter. Please take a look. So, the EV adapter comes complete with a Type 2 connector fitted. The majority of electric vehicle charge points that you'll get involved with, either installing or testing, will be Type 2 connections. There are Type 1 vehicle charge points in the market, and this adapter comes with a Type 2 to Type 1 adapter, so you can test those too. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to plug our EV adapter into the charge point. Now we're going to set up our EV adapter for the status of the charge point itself. This is an ICS electric vehicle charge point and others may differ slightly on how they activate. First status that we need to be sure of is the PP status rotary switch. This we're telling the adapter what the current output of the charge point is. This particular model is 32 amp. So we have the CP rotary set, a PP rotary set on 32 amp. The next status we need to tell the adapter is what condition we've got the vehicle in. We do that by the CP error status switch, CP status switch. Currently it's at A. This is now saying that there is no vehicle connected to the charge point. If I select B and start my charge point, we have now told the charge point that there's a vehicle connected, but it's in standby mode. So this has energized the charge point. By selecting C, we've now told the charge point that there's a vehicle connected and we want to charge. So you can see that the charge point is now in charge mode. So we've set it up. B and C to the right, is for unvented charge points. B and D to the left is for vented charge points. So now we can perform the safety checks. So the first test that we're going to do is this test here. This is the PE pretest. What we're going to do now is we're going to ensure that there's no excessive or dangerous voltages on the earth. So what we're going to do with our finger, we're going to press onto this silver button. Pressing on the silver button, if there was excess voltage on the actual earth, a red neon light would illuminate. If that does happen, stop all testing and investigate further. As we can see here, no light is illuminated, so everything is good and everything is safe. The next test that we're going to do is this button here. So this is the CP error test. So what we're doing is making sure that there's communication between the charge point and the electric vehicle. So we're going to press this, create a fault, and we expect the charge point to shut down. Great, that's happened. So we've now proved that the charge point is working correctly and communicating with the vehicle. I'm going to reset the charge point. And the last safety test that we're going to do is this here. This is the PE error test. And again, what we're going to do is generate a fault. We want to make sure that the earth is good on the system. By pressing this button, we're going to generate a fault. And again, we want the charge point to shut down. And we have success. So we have now proved with our safety checks that the charge point is working correctly. Now all safety checks have been completed, you're able to connect your test equipment to the EV adapter to perform all the necessary tests as needed under BS 7671 18th edition of the regulations. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.